Sometimes called the king of the jungle, the lion is a mighty and fearsome beast. But just because it's got claws, teeth, and an impressive regal mane, that doesn't mean it's unstoppable. In fact, there are quite a few animals out there that could tussle with one and come out on top. These are animals that could defeat a lion. Number 15. Elephants can defeat lions. Elephants come across as gentle giants to the average person, but don't annoy one or you'll be on the receiving end of its deadly wrath. Herds of elephants, particularly older matriarchs, are well aware of the threat of a lion. Apparently, just by hearing the sound of a male lion's roar, the elephants will rush into a defensive formation. This quick thinking can save the lives of the youngest in the herd, proving just how essential great and wise leadership is. But when a lion attacks an elephant, the lion comes out on top, surely. Long claws and vicious teeth beat the clumsy elephant, right? Well, not exactly. The African elephant is significantly larger than the African lion. Whilst the lion can only deliver bites, which the elephant can withstand, the elephant's stomps can prove deadly enough to kill a lion with relative ease. An African forest elephant can weigh as much as 2,700 kilograms, whilst an African bush elephant can weigh a staggering 6,000 kilograms. An African lion only weighs up to 190 kilograms, which sounds pretty pathetic in comparison. Uh, don't tell the lions I said that, though. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Giraffes can defeat lions. Giraffes are tall and majestic creatures, with their necks certainly causing them to stand out amongst the crowd. But a giraffe doesn't have huge jaws or sharp claws, so you'd assume they'd be no match for a ferocious lion. Well, that isn't exactly the case. See, even though a giraffe might not be as well equipped for a fight, they do have a certain trick up their sleeve. Or should I say, their neck. Lions tend to attack the neck of their prey when out on a hunt. But because giraffes are so tall, it makes it particularly difficult for the lion to reach their target. Add to this the fact that giraffes can run up to 60 kilometers per hour, and the lion's in for a rough task if they want their dinner. If the giraffe is able to get into full stride, then the lions, no matter how many of them there are, are usually unable to take it down. The giraffe will just fling the predators off of them before they can reach their next sweet spot, and the giraffe will sometimes also step on the lion as it crashes to the ground, just for good measure. Unless you have a ladder handy, then hunting a giraffe as a lion is almost certainly a doomed task. Number 13. Hyenas can defeat lions. Hyenas have a bad reputation for being sneaky, lowly, grotesque scavengers of the animal kingdom. A perception not helped by the Lion King movies which didn't do the animals any favors, especially with their relationships with lions. It's hard to like them from the outset, with their laughs being the stuff of nightmares. But these shadow lurkers are actually a lot more impressive than they're given credit for. The hyena actually has a great set of characteristics which makes them a real problem for anyone, even lions. With great hearing and sharp eyesight at night only being the tip of the iceberg, the hyena is also exceptionally fast and can run for very long distances without getting fatigued. Sounds like a nightmare if they're chasing after you, let alone at night. <laughs> The hyena also understands the importance of working together as a team, as they usually hunt in packs, which makes them effective at isolating an animal from its herd. The hyena isn't shy either, as they will very often fight amongst themselves and with other fearsome animals, such as lions, over who gets to tuck into their catch. Sounds like it would almost be a death wish for a lion to pick a fight with a pack of hyenas, then. Number 12. Rhinos can defeat lions. 
If there's any animal that is built for war, it has to be the rhinoceros, which can weigh up to 8,000 pounds of pure toughness. Rhinos are such a strange creature to look at. They look like they're from the time of the dinosaurs and somehow just managed to avoid being wiped out by the asteroid's collision. Their large, pointed horn is a deadly tool in the art of combat, whilst also tragically being on the wish list of poachers globally, who sadly kill two rhinos every single day. There are many beliefs that the rhino's horn has remarkable health benefits, but the truth is they're made out of the same material as human nails and hair. But what would happen if a lion and a rhino were to battle it out? Well, for starters, that would be quite the battle, with the lion's teeth, claws, and agility certainly posing quite a few problems for the rhino. However, if the rhino is able to catch the lion in one of its deadly charges, then the lion will be sent flying devastatingly through the air. And if the rhino catches it with one of its deadly horns, it is certainly game over. So in short, the rhino wins that scrap. Number 11. Tigers can defeat lions. Who would win in a fight, a lion or a tiger? Well, there are many factors to take into consideration when saying who would come out on top. What is the size, age, and temperament of the animals, for example? But if you were to pit a standard lion against a standard tiger, then the tiger would come out on top. See, tigers are significantly larger than lions, for starters. Bigger cat equals more power and a longer reach. Simple. Not only this, but the tiger's also better adapted at fighting on its hind legs, adding a layer of dynamism to their attacks. But will we ever know? I mean, tigers are found in Asia, whereas lions are found in Africa, except for a small group who roam in a small region in Asia. But back in the day, the two beasts would regularly meet in the Colosseums of ancient in Rome to battle it out to the death. The tigers always won, apparently, clearly proving their size advantage is just too much for the smaller lions. Did you know that tigers are actually born blind and have to follow the scent of their mother for guidance? What's particularly startling is the fact that male lions will sometimes eat the cubs of a lioness to make the lioness available for mating. Gross. Number 10. African Buffaloes Can Defeat Lions The African buffalo is a terrifying animal. Just one look at it will convince you of that. Standing at around six feet tall and with a huge frame which weighs in at 1,500 pounds, this is one animal you would not want to pick a fight with. But its scary look doesn't just end there. The African buffalo is strong and powerful, but they also pack a deadly punch in the form of a set of deadly horns which are large to say the least. The horns themselves come in at around four feet from one end to the other. Thankfully for the rest of the planet, the African buffalo's appetite is usually filled by munching grass. But nevertheless, the African buffalo is still considered a seriously deadly creature, even more deadly than the lion. And don't just take my word for it, I got the statistics to back up this claim. On average, more people are killed by African buffaloes every year than by lions. So in short, don't piss off one of these beasts, or you may not live to tell the tale. Number 9. Grizzly Bears Can Defeat Lions Weighing in at around 340 kilograms of pure grizzly bear strength, this is one animal not even a fearsome lion should mess with. And those that dare to clash with one of these bears are left with more than just a few scratches. Let us have a look at more statistics regarding the grizzly bear's physical attributes. With a head and body length coming in at around 7 feet 8 inches, and ghastly claws which can grow to as long as 4 inches in length, the grizzly bear has all of the attributes to give anyone a run for their money in a fight. Grizzly bears have even been known to dominate male African lions in zoos and the circus circuit. There was even a case in China where a grizzly bear clearly had enough of his wild cat co-performer and launched a deadly attack on it. After only a few swipes from the bear, the lion was dead. After a group of doctors analyzed it, it was concluded that the lion's skull was decimated by the powerful attacks of the bear, which led to the lion's instant death. 
Ouch. I don't know what the lion did to get on the bad side of the grizzly bear, but clearly the grizzly bear is one co-worker you should avoid getting on the wrong side of. Number 8. Zebras can defeat lions. Zebras are usually thought of as playing the role of the prey in most battles in nature. But these striped animals are actually a lot more deadly than you may have first thought. You'd think a zebra would be pretty tame in its temperament, but they have been known to be quite ruthless when fighting for dominance. Two zebras entangled in a war will usually result in tails being torn off, bones being broken in two, or even in the most extreme circumstances, death occurring. But how does a zebra deliver such power? I mean, they have no crazy muscles, huge claws, or terrifying horns like some other animals. The zebra might not have any of the above, but they do have extremely sharp teeth. One devastating bite from one of these gnashers can easily result in a tail being ripped away. Lions are no exception to zebras' fighting expertise, with the zebra's ability to deliver a brutal kick to a lion being enough to kill one of these wild cats. That's right, a zebra can actually kill a lion. If a zebra connects one of its two hooved kicks on a lion, particularly on its skull, then it isn't good news for the lion, to say the least. Number 7. Porcupines can defeat lions. Desperate times call for desperate measures. When a lion is on the hunt for food and they can't find the usual delicacies such as wildebeests or zebras, then they sometimes turn to the prickly porcupine to satisfy their growling belly. But whilst you might think that this would be easy pickings for the strong lion and its sharp teeth and claws, it isn't always how it seems. Despite being 10 times heavier than the prickly porcupine, the wild cat can run into serious difficulty when trying to feast on one of these unusual creatures. Things can prove so difficult sometimes that the lion can end up seriously wounded or even dead from the sharp quills of the porcupine. And with a single porcupine on average covered with around 30,000 of these brutal quills, it can be rather hard to avoid their strikes, to say the least. So, in a sense, a human or cattle can sometimes be easier for a lion to fight rather than a small and seemingly harmless porcupine. Crazy. A slow-moving rodent can actually defeat a lion. It's like the Animal Kingdom's version of David vs. Goliath. Number 6. Silverback Gorillas Can Defeat Lions A fight between a silverback gorilla and a lion would be a gruesome spectacle without a doubt. Silverback gorillas' strength, for instance, is off the charts. They're about 10 times stronger than their own body weight, with a fully grown silverback gorilla being about as strong as 20 adult humans combined. If you were to go to the weight room with one of these titans, you would be humbled really quickly. A gorilla is able to bench press as much as 4,000 pounds, whereas a human, no matter how many protein shakes they took, would only be able to reach around 885 pounds at best. But how would one of these gorillas fare against a dominating lion? Well, it's all in the approach. If a lion were able to creep up and deliver a precise bite, then the battle could be over before the gorilla really knows they're in one. But a gorilla's stamina and strength would be way too much for a lion in usual circumstances. And if the gorilla was able to get a hold of a branch to use as a weapon, then it would be game over for the feline. But ultimately, the gorilla would be too much to handle for the lion simply because of its size. Number 5. Crocodiles can defeat lions. Imagine being so intimidating that you cause lions to avoid entering waters on the off chance that they'll be confronted by you. This is the reality for crocodiles, who have a tendency to launch vicious attacks on their lion counterparts. Although, lions are known to eat the crocodile's young, so it isn't completely one way. Crocodiles usually lurk in the waters and attack the unsuspecting lion when they're going out for a quick drink. Crocodiles have also been known to attack lions who decide to cross a section of water. Believe you me, you do not want to be on the receiving end of a crocodile snap. The saltwater crocodiles are known to be able to slam their jaws shut with 3,700 pounds per square inch of bite force. 
To give this some context, a lion and tiger would only generate around 1,000 pounds per square inch of bite force, whereas a human would only tear into a steak with around 175 pounds per square inch of bite force. In short, especially if they clash in the water, a crocodile will completely decimate a lion. The best bet for the lion would be to get the heck out of the area as quickly as possible. Number 4. Hippos can defeat lions. When you think of hippos, you don't imagine them to be particularly terrifying. One of your first thoughts is probably the popular board game Hungry Hungry Hippos. But whilst they might not be known for being a fearful force in the animal kingdom, they are, in fact, the third largest land animal on the planet. Only elephants and white rhinos are bigger. Even though these hefty creatures might look large, they are anything but slow and are actually considered one of the deadliest animals in Africa. In a fight with a lion, amazingly, a hippo will usually come out on top. With their significantly larger frame and huge teeth, the hippo is more than capable of holding its own in a scrap with a lion. Although, if a pride of lions were to decide to pick a fight with a hippo, then they would probably win. But one-on-one, -on -one, a hippo's ability to move swiftly in land and water and its sheer size are enough to make them victorious. I never knew hippos were so feared. What's a hippo's favorite type of music? Hippopotamus. Number 3. African Rock Pythons Can Defeat Lions this next animal is actually so feared by the lion community that they simply don't bother hunting them as they're not worth the deadly trouble. I am, of course, talking about snakes, more specifically the African Rock Python. The African Rock Python is the second largest serpent in the whole of Africa. Africa is huge, so that really is some title. And with them able to grow up to 20 feet in length, it's easy to see why. Their size takes a terrifying turn when you realize that they can eat animals which are almost twice the size of it. Through using their flexible jaws, they are able to swallow animals varying from antelopes, goats, crocodiles, and even lion cubs. The African rock python is non-venomous, but they still pose a serious threat even to humans. Instead of poison, they tend to kill their prey through constricting their bodies, aka squeezing the life out of them. Sounds very grim, and that's because it is. As a result of their high threat level, lions teach their cubs not to bother hunting them, as they are far too much hassle. If the cub doesn't pay attention, they could very well end up on the snake's dinner plate. Number 2. Wildebeests Can Defeat Lions If it wasn't for its great organization, this next animal would just be picked apart by the lion. But thankfully, they do, and that is the difference between the wildebeest surviving or not. Wildebeests are one of the largest types of antelope out there, with them able to reach an astonishing 8 feet in length and 4.5 feet in height. They also tip the scales at around 600 pounds, with long, curved horns sitting proudly atop their skinny frame. To avoid the devastating, predatory nature of the lion looking for an antelope sandwich, they stick together in a large group. This group tactic means the wildebeest group's youngest members have a far greater chance at survival. A solitary lion wouldn't dare take on a whole herd of wildebeest, if it was smart, that is. Through sticking to open savanna areas, the wildebeest can keep an eye out for any approaching lions. Without this element of surprise, the lion loses a big part of its game plan. Wildebeest are clever clogs, too. They listen out for the alarm calls of nature, such as baboons shrieking at the sight of an approaching predator, for example. Wildebeest herd 1, lion 0. Number 1. Oryx can defeat lions. The swift-moving, gazelle-like oryx has a strange appearance championed by its distinctive horns which are made from keratin, aka what your hair and nails are made up of. This species of antelope looks like something which would be on the lunch menu for lions. Easy pickings, or so you would think. Far from being a nice snack for a lion to munch on, the oryx pose quite a few problems for a lion. 
Through a various kick or an onslaught from its horns, the Oryx can more than hold its own in a tussle with a lion. Whilst the Oryx may not win every battle it enters against a lion, it can surely leave its mark. Father Time is on the Oryx's side, as they can dish out enough damage to cause the lion to die from its injuries, even if it's from something as mundane as an infection. But that's not to say the Oryx can't outright kill a lion, because they have been known to. All it takes is one well-placed kick or stab of a horn for it to emerge victorious. It just proves that there are no clear-cut winners in the crazy animal kingdom where a dominating lion can be defeated by a grass-grazing oryx. Looks like the lion isn't as invincible as you might have first thought. Who on our list surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.